Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and last month our friend Carol left three messages out on my YouTube channel saying please make a pattern for a pig and I wrote back and I said mm, I'd love to but I've got three other projects already started I really need to do those first so it's going to take a while before I can get to it and two days later I had already started on my pig <laughs> because I really, really like pigs and I thought it would just be so much fun. I just now finished it. It's another pattern like these guys up here, so you can download it if you want to. There is a small charge for it because these patterns take me forever to make. The reason they take me so long is that I start out with an original sculpture made out of clay and then I create a mold out of silicone and I create multiple copies in paper mache so that I can get the pattern pieces cut out. Um, it takes an engineering mind and I'm not sure I have one, <laughs> so getting all those pieces cut out exactly right to make it easy to put the pattern together and make sure that they all fit, that takes me a long time. But I am really happy with the way it came out. And to be really honest, no matter what sculpture I start on and no matter how I make it, I don't really totally fall in love with it just because of the shapes. That really happens when I get that final little touch of white in the eyes to bring out the sparkle and it finally looks like somebody's in there looking back at me. And, that, and that's when I say, yeah, this guy is going to be really good company and I'm really happy I did it. You can download the pattern if you want to. It's on my website now at ultimatepapermache.com slash pig. Before I get started telling you how the pattern is put together, I'm going to do that in this video. But first I want to tell you why I wanted so bad to make the pig right after Carol suggested it. And that is because, and I haven't told you guys this before, but all my entire life, gosh, even back when I was in high school, I think, I was a wannabe back to the lander. That means I wanted a homestead of my own. I wanted to Basically, I wanted to have enough land so I could have as many animals as I could collect and take care of. I mean, I know that's not what most people think of when they think of a homestead, but that was the way I was thinking. And I only got to do it for two years, my entire life, two years. It was on five acres just outside of Spokane, Washington, about 22 years ago, give or take. And as soon as I moved in, I got a flock of white ducks, and I got some Polish chickens there just crazy looking, you gotta look them up. They they make you giggle just by watching them walk around. <laughs> it's just crazy. And I got two piglets and I just love those little guys. When you get to meet a pig out in the real world, not in a factory farm, but where they're out on pasture like mine were, where they actually have space to run around and be pigs, they can find joy in the smallest things. The one thing that I discovered about pigs is that the, something that they enjoy almost as much as food is playing with your shoelaces. <laughs> I never would have known that if I hadn't had that one experience of actually getting to know a couple of pigs. They are just so happy. And I wanted to make sure that this guy looked happy too. The smile is built into the pattern. You get to alter it just a little bit in order to give it exactly the personality you want. You'll use a little bit of aluminum foil on his eyes, right around his mouth, and on his nose just to, to make sure that it's the pig that you want to live with, <laughs> so it'll be good company for you, and I'm, I'm just really happy with it. So I'm going to give you a real quick rundown of it, how to put the pattern together and how the aluminum foil goes on there to give him his expression. So let me go ahead and get started with that and I'll show you how this was done. This is a pretty easy project actually. You start out with the front and back of two cereal boxes. I'm on a wheat-free diet so I don't have any cereal boxes in the house, but you can buy chipboard on Amazon.com and that's what I did. Then you'll also need a scrap of heavier corrugated cardboard for the back. You print the pieces either on full sheet labels like I did, or you can print them on copy paper and attach them to your cardboard with a glue stick. If you use the glue stick, you'll need to take the pattern pieces off of the cardboard before you take them together. That's really important. After you've got the pattern pieces on the cardboard, you just cut out all the pieces. Then you tape the darts together and then tape the pieces together. They're all numbered and the full instructions for exactly how they go together is included with the pattern. There are just two tricky parts really in this one. The mouth is slightly open and so in order to get that lower lip 
pushed back the way it needs to be, you'll need to push down on it when you're taping. Uh, sometimes you feel like you need three hands, but it's really not that hard. And then the other slightly tricky part is that the eyes go in on each corner and so you have to be very careful when you're taping those together. Then after all the pieces are put together except for the ears you can add some personality with some aluminum foil and some hot glue. If you don't have a hot glue gun you can actually use uh, masking tape to hold the uh, the foil on there. You don't actually have to add the the lips or the smile muscles if you don't want to but you will need to puff up the nose itself because the pig's nose is quite fleshy and that's pretty hard to do with a flat piece of cardboard. As long as you're doing that anyway you might as well go ahead and add a bit of personality to your pig. Uh, look at as many photographs of, of pigs as you can. Every single pig has a different face just like people do and they have a lot of different expressions so go ahead and find a photograph that has exactly the expression that you want your pig to have and then use that as a reference when you're uh, putting the aluminum foil on the pattern. Once that's done you can put the back on and then add the ears and then you're ready for just one layer of paper mache. I very recently put out two videos showing you how to put the paper mache on there so that it gets nice and flat and how to smooth off the paper mache after it's dry if it didn't come out exactly the way you wanted it to. I, I did uh, have to do a little bit of work on mine because I wasn't quite as careful in a couple of places and I wanted to soften up the seam line right along the, the sides of his muzzle. So I, I used some drywall joint compound to do that after the paper mache was dry. Again, there are two videos showing you how to do that so I won't go through that again. So that's a quick rundown of how the pattern is put together. I didn't want to make this video too long because it's so much easier to actually use the instructions that are written on the pattern itself rather than going back and forth in a video. But in the next video I am going to show you how I painted this guy. I was in a real hurry <laughs> because it did take me so long to make the pattern and I wanted to hurry up and get it out so that if anybody happens to know someone who's really in love with Charlotte's Web or any of the other children's books that have pigs in them that you might know somebody who'd really like to have a pig uh, on their wall. So I wanted to hurry up and get it out. Just used a couple of colors. I did it really really fast. I used some glazing liquid to make it go even faster and I still think it came out really nice even though it just took a few minutes to do. I will show you exactly how that was done in the next video so be sure and watch for it. In the meantime you can download the pattern if you want to make a pig of your own. It's at ultimatepapermache.com pig and I also want to make sure you come on over and visit me at ultimatepapermache.com. If you make one of these guys please leave a photograph of it on the Daily Sculptors page. I would love to see how it turns out. I'll see you there.